I need to do another pre-workout review. I'm just getting so annoyed. But maybe, maybe that's why this one is calling to me. God of rage for you guys there. Hello there guys, and of course, welcome back into yet another one of us to review bros. My name's Aaron, and you joined just with myself today, and a big thank you for watching along, of course, on these pre-workout reviews. Today we've got, of course, another pre-workout, this time in the form of the latest pre-workout from the guys at Centurion Labs. It is their pre-workout, God of Rage Unchained. And is this stuff off the chain as we go through the usuals, the taste, price, label, and of course, primarily, the real world effects. Forgetting all the hype behind the product, you know, these guys have been around for some time. We've always loved God of Rage. DMHA's, you know, it's getting cracked down on, so they've had to remove it in this pre-workout. And is that gonna remove that special feeling? That's what we're gonna be 100% honest about. And can it still give you the rage against the weights? Let's find out, but please first guys, do subscribe to the channel, of course. Drop any comments you have down below, and of course, the biggest favor is give us that thumbs up. Helps us to grow, and in turn, hopefully, we can get you stimmed up. First segment, guys. Taste and mixability. Start with it because it probably is for most people out there the least important because you just neck these pre workouts and you get on down to the gym. You're not sitting around the pool, you know, with your cocktails, are you? You're just going to get it down. But with that being said, of course, there are good pre workouts out there, really good pre workouts that also taste good. See, it's not something you have to sacrifice in this day and age. And the good thing with this is, this company, they do a lot of different flavours for their pre workout. And this one actually comes in four different flavours it comes in peach, mango, gashing grape, and Baja Blast. But the one we've got for the sake of this review, and we've got a choice on this one, thank you to them, is Rainbow Sherbet, which Obviously, I have high hopes. I think I've always liked their flavouring systems. But anyway, in goes a scoop which weighs 15.7 uh, grams. So in she goes. It smells very sweet in the air and strong. It smells quite potent. As as with uh, from memory anyway, they never have any colourings in them, which is a good thing, isn't it? It just makes it hard for us to tell that mixability rate. Anyway, give it a shake. Obviously, guys, I've used this before for the sake of the camera. I'm going to pretend it's my very first time. And I'm not even going to bother showing you the mixability because it's really hard to see. But it's very good mixability. I give them that. It is good. It goes down well. Bit of fizz to it. Anyway, rainbow sherbet going down the hatch. Here we go. It's good. It's very good, as expected. Very sweet, quite potent, quite strong tasting. No bitterness, no chemical aftertones, no nastiness. It's actually really well done. What would I give it out of 10? It is really good. It is really good. I'd give it... I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's very good. You won't complain about it at all. Why am I not giving it out of 10 out of 10? I mean, a little bit picky, probably, to be honest with you. A little bit chalky, maybe. Smidge. Anyway, really good start to the review. How much is this going to set you back in terms of price as we move into that segment right now? Price of this bad boy. What can it do in terms of scoring you some points, cash dollar wise? So you'll head on over. Actually, I've got to thank Centurion Labs. They did send it down direct. However, I've found that actually their website's a bit more expensive. Um, so I'm gonna go for what I've found to be the cheapest. And there's probably a few stores that do it similar. But anyhow, 
Nutri Cartel sell this product and the code review bros works on every product there including obviously this one and you can actually get it for 42 dollars and 49 cents for a full tub of it you get 25 servings so when you do the math and you divide it all up per serving it will come in at a dollar and 70 per go uk guys if we were to do a pure transition across to our pennies pounds and great british sterling it would be a pound and 34 pence where does that fall on our consistent pricing scale that compares this against everything out there it actually comes in really nicely at a 6.5 out of 10 where 5 out of 10 is average so it's considerably cheaper and i've got to say you know very good to start off with obviously we have to move into the label and the effects to determine whether it's worth that but going on what i know going on the hype going on the feel etc etc i think ruined for a solid review let's move into the label what is this packing into the label of this product what's it packing guys where are you going to get that where's that money going should i say is it worth you working you know solidly at your day jobs to purchase this let's find out right so as i mentioned one scoop probably depends slightly on the um the flavoring one but around 15.7 grams all right 25 servings per the container we have our vitamins and minerals at the top nothing too exciting i will say however the niacin dosage as mentioned in previous versions of the pre-workout, is at a high dose of 20 milligrams. Now, that might give you nice and flushing, a red tingle to the skin, a sort of feeling of urgency and something's coming over you. Anyway, into the main of the label. 2.1 is the ratio of L-citrulline at 6 grams. So we're going to be getting around 4 grams of pure citrulline, which is an okay dose, guys. It's not high, but it's also not low. It's going to give you nitric oxide production in the bloodstream, helping you, of course, with blood flow and pump. We have beta alanine at the clinical 3.2 grams for the beta tingle. It's going to work with the niacin in terms of giving you that paraphysia feel, that itchy tingly feeling as the pre-workout kicks in and it can help with endurance down the line we've got glycerol monastery at three grams which is a good dose guys don't often see it that high that can sometimes and it hasn't done here lead to the clumping in your pre-workout containers but in your muscle cell it draws in moisture water blood nutrients into it directly thus giving you more pump we next have up next uh dmae and choline potatrate, both of those are focus type ingredients. I will say the dosages of them, a bit lower than we'd like to see, but you know, they might pair up nicely and give us some focus element in the gym. We have caffeine anhydrous at a good three to five milligrams. You know, that's a lot of energy stimulation to get you moving, heart rate up, and ultimately, you know, your energy in the gym to get you through your training session. Theobromine at a good dose, 200 milligrams. Now, that's going to give you mood elevation. It's going to give you more stimulation from energy, some fat burning effect, and, you know, hopefully make us feel good in the gym. We have uh, Aria Gerensis up next as n phenylmethylamine citrate at 200. That's um, dubbed the natural and safer version of a DMHA type feel because it can help with similar effects. Focus, mood elevation, a little bit of stimulation, getting you in the zone in your training session. Got Mucana Purins up next at 100 milligrams for an anti-stress, antioxidant, anti-calming type sort of feeling pre-workout ingredient might help you with your training in terms of longevity we have infinity up next at decaffeine malate 100 milligrams that's going to yield probably 75 they haven't broken it down but that's going to give you a nice top up of stimulation and energy in the gym we're not at the end yet it keeps on giving uh synephrine hcl 75 milligrams fat burning and stimulation guys good ingredient uh astrogen up next 25 milligrams half the norm but it's going to help with absorption of these ingredients to get them into the system. Important, I think, with pre-workouts, you've got that 30-minute window. Next up, we've got the yo-yo blend, the yo-yo matrix, shall we say, in terms of Yohimbine HCL and Alpha Yohimbine. Now, both of those fat burners, aphrodisiac, blood flow, more pumps, 
energy, stimulation, adrenaline precursor to really ramp things up in the gym. Get you a sweat on. They can come with negatives though, guys, depending on your sensitivity and of course the dosage in terms of a fever-like feel, excess energy, uncontrollable jitters, excess saliva. But I will say, for me at least, that could be okay at those dosages. And we finish off the label with Hooperzine A, 200 micrograms, dub the learning chemical for more focus and concentration, memory, recall, etc. So all in all, a good label, definitely pushing on your focus, but more so even I'd say your energy. As you might have noticed, unfortunately, DMHA has been taken out and that's due to the FDA in, the, in America cracking down on it a lot. So is that going to take away? Is it going to change the feel of God of Rage as we know it? Let's get into the effects of this one. <laughs> So we've made it to the destination Gainesville, aka the effects segment of any review. The most important part, it's determining whether this is for you or not. And what can it do compared to other pre-workouts? What does it deliver? Where's its negatives? How does it compare perhaps to even the previous iterations of God of Rages? Well, let's start at the beginning. And what I will say is, beta alanine niacin effect is strong on this stuff as it has been in previous versions i didn't get the stomach ache that i had in some of the previous versions and when i say stomach ache i meant like a minute's worth it's a strange from the niacin i think struggling to get that digestion in on it but this one didn't do that but you got the definite sense of urgency and that's what i'll say continued on through training this is a high energy pre-workout it gives you that that jittery, urgency, adrenaline fueled feeling. You know, it feels like you've you've got in an altercation because you don't feel rage, but you do feel like, gotta keep cracking through this training session. The energy is strong on this one. It's, I'll be honest, I'm jumping straight in here. It's its strongest suit straight away. And you feel that energy 10 minutes after ingesting this stuff. And it gives you, um, that energy for a long period of time. It doesn't give you appetite suppression, so do make sure you eat at the end of it because I did find it to lower my, at least my feeling as a blood sugar level. At the end, I felt like I was running on pure stimulation and it had taken all my blood sugar and carbohydrates out of the system and used those for the pumps. Focus for me was okay. It was there. It was maybe good, but you were focused on the excess energy it does give you. It's kind of that battle between the two, kind of like ice versus fire. You've got focus versus extreme stimulation. They're, they're battling against each other there, guys. And the pumps for me were solid on this as well. Nothing crazy, but definitely still ample enough for a, you know your training session at hand. Now, it goes without saying, those energy levels are the strong suit. The Alpha Yahimbine is strong, but not so strong that it takes away from your training session. It's close, because you do feel jittery on this stuff. And the heart rate does go up a hell of a lot. So therefore, you're breathing in between sets. You might need a little bit more rest, but you do feel amped up, guys. Now, energy lasts beyond training and after training. You still feel productive. Actually, for me, if anything, rage, no, if anything, it actually took me slightly to the other side in terms of mood elevation. And that focus, that mood elevation, that sense of productivity was there after training. The productivity versus jitters during training, like I say, it's still that clash between the two fighting. Now, what I will say, and uh, it's a question you're going to ask, and it's a sorry to Centurion Labs, it is a different type of pre-workout to the God of Rages we've known in the past with a euphoric type feel, a happy type feel, a floaty almost type feel, an illicit type feel. This one doesn't have any of that and they have been forced into this corner by the FDA that are cracking down. We're going to start seeing that, unfortunately, where pre-workouts have start to take out these ingredients. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. 
and they have to feel like they go down the straight and narrow as they get the cease and desist letters. I don't think, I don't know if Centurion got that, but they perhaps jumped before they were pushed. And that's going to be, like I say, the same for a lot of future pre-workouts, which is a shame. That being said, I do like how they've, they've made that decision and they've still de delivered us a good pre-workout. It's just a different pre-workout. God of Rages in the past were combinations of high energy and illicit floaty type feelings. They've had to drop away that part and just give us a ball of energy, which I like. I do like, you know, it's got its place. I don't want DMHA all the time. It perhaps pushes its usability up to more times per week. I still would not class this, obviously, as a daily driver. I still would only use this two or three times a week myself. It is a strong Stim Junkie product still. It just goes down that adrenaline, alpha yahimbine, energy, jittery, high heart rate route than the floaty mood elevating feel and you'll know if you've used pre-workouts you'll know exactly what i mean by that so would i recommend this pre-workout i would i still definitely would i think it's a hundred percent worth that price point at nutri cartel with that discount code it's just you've just got to set your expectations at the beginning it's not quite the same as what it was which is sad in one but i still think they've done a good job in the other so and it's become it's going to become the norm, as I mentioned. Tastes good as well. I, you know, for me, it's still very good. It's still very good. I guess they keep up with that name Unchained, because that's more what it feels like. Instead of, like, neuro-focus type name, it's Unchained, because the energy is probably off the chain. So, yeah. Appreciate Centurion Labs for sending it on down. Cheers for you guys watching it. Have you tried it? Let us know in the comments down below. Would this be your next pre? Cheers for watching. As always, stay stimmed. Centurion Unchained style.